Oh, he's smoking a dart. Come on, man. You can't fight the enemy with bad lungs. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Okay, so as you may well observe, we find ourselves back in the truck today. It's another truck muck. The reason why is this. I've been driving around for the last, like, I would say month probably and i keep at mr sub i rarely ever go to mr sub we all know i'm a subway hoe my double meat bmt it just can't be beat that's my jam but i will say this they have this limited time offer of this chicken wing spicy boneless chicken wing sub is what they're calling it so me being the chicken wing uh fiend that i am and it looking delicious in this picture and me having seen it on their billboard like day after day when I'm out doing shit, I've been meaning to stop in, okay? I've been meaning to check it out. So that's what we're gonna do today because I wanna see if it's good, obviously. But I'm most intrigued to understand the, this chicken wing. Is it just a bone, is it just boneless bites? Or what are we doing here? Like how, how are we replicating wing and a sub? I'm thinking this is gonna be boneless bites. I'm thinking it's probably pretty standard. I, I really want to see if the meat in it is like any decent or if it's just some weird processed like foamy, you know, re-amalgam chicken type deal. But we will find out shortly because it looks banging, but you never know. So we're en route. It's a shitty rainy day. It's a depressy, messy, depressy day, but I do actually like it. <laughs> I like these days. Definitely been raining, some super gray skies, and we have thunderstorms possibly on the horizon this eve, which I'd be down for. A scary movie, a couple cracks of thunder, a little lightning. It's a good old time. I love it. Summertime storms are the shit. Anyways, let's go get chicken subs. All right, coming up on the left here, you're going to see our target location, Mr. Sub, and out front, I do believe that they have the sign of the chicken sub. Oh, I hate parking lots so much because it's erratic behavior and people are weird. Here it is, the wing night just got portable. Pulling in right into the sign here. Mr. Sub it is. Let's do it. I think I'm going to get it exactly how they intended it to be designed. I'm not going to tweak it in any way, shape, or form. All right, first things first, we got some crazy parking lot badminton and... Some sort of keep up the ball, handball game. And then a straggler and another guy approaching woman straggler. Watch out, he's behind you. Turn around, <laughs> he's gonna get you. <laughs> kidding, kidding, kidding. She looks like a, uh, she looks slightly transient. She may be traveling. It does look like she's traveling. That is a hotel right there as well. So that's probably why this is all happening here. It's just people bored as shit staying at a hotel. But everything else is going swimmingly. We have procured the good. We have procured the sub itself. I did not get it in any variation. I got it in its truest form. Unadulterated hot chicken sub. Ranch hot sauce, the chicken, lettuce, tomato, white bread, and I got it grilled. I don't know if they usually have it grilled, but I needed to get it. Get it, get it. I needed to get it grilled, okay? We're also going in with a peach iced tea today. Feeling an iced tea. Had to make it a combo. We got the most Canadian chips ever, all dress chips, the best. And uh, another update, another thing that I wasn't expecting is this. I'm super jazzed about it. They had monstrous, wait for it, monstrous, pickles for sale so you can get a gangster side pickle so i definitely got a gangster side pickle i can't wait to snap into this but let's try this sub first all right bringing you guys down for closer inspection here's everything laid and displayed we got the sub here looking fantastically built let's take a little look on the inside i gotta say the chicken is looking good we got the peter north of pickles and then we got our chips laid out Let's get into this. It looks amazing. I'm down. I'm really down. I'm really down for this. Okay, first things first. I'm going to wet my beak just a little bit. <sighs> Nothing hits like peach iced tea, except for raspberry iced tea. They're both, they're close. They're close. They're extremely close in levels of deliciousness. So here we go. 
first bite on this buffalo chicken wing sub ash got it risky I see what you're up to. I'll say this, real nice off the hop. What else was really good was the customer service experience. The lady in there was really great, really friendly, really nice. So I tipped her five on 15 bucks. Cause she was, she was legit. I enjoyed the way she operated. Now, here's the thing. That chicken, it is a little bit... What I was fearing. But it's not bad. Though it's like ground and repurposed into these nuggets, it's still like the bite on it is, it's like soft and it's not weird. Like there's no weird, grossy gross type thing. That's going to be the bite though. Super ranchy. But it is what I thought. It's There's nothing really wing about it. It's just boneless bites. Buffaloized. I've also come to understand that the transient woman is not. She's the overseer of this camp that's happening here. Is what I've been able to deduce. I think she is the um, authority figure here. And she brought all these bags that have like snacks and supplies and things that the children need. So it's dinner and show tonight, you know? Sometimes you get a parking lot movie. Real life movie. And unlike the McDonald's video, I am not getting away scot-free in this one. I'm spilling shit everywhere. <laughs> All right, now let's get into this. This thing is ridiculous. You know what I mean? That's a big old pickle. See how it snaps though. I really want this to be I want it to be like super white inside, like that, um, like a barely pickled pickle, like a very kosher style pickle, but let's find out. Mm. <laughs> it's exactly what I wanted it to be. Wow. That is an amazing pickle. Unbelievable. I need to learn to make pickles like this. Wow. That's the perfect pickle. The brine. The salt, the garlic. 
who knew Mr. Sub was packing the perfect pickle. <laughs> Come on. But wow, this is a good out pickle. How often do you see people get this excited for pickles other than Snooky? It's amazing. A better than sub. To be honest. I might have to run up in there and see if they can sell me a bucket. Just to have at the house. Couple of chips. Canada's very best. All dry. You know what I bet? That pickle. Sliced off in the mandolin. Laid onto this sub. Would be. Chef. Absolutely. I do believe. A man, all dressed chips are fucking. They're the Latina women of chips, you know? We've already discussed Salma Hayek's incredible heat that she brings to the table as being maybe one of the hottest humans to ever exist. I think I would have to say. She's got to be like top 10. But that's what these are. They're the Salma Hayek of chips. Canadian chips. You ever wonder... Now there's a guy in a military outfit. What's happening here? I'm too lazy to turn the camera on because I have to take it off the mount, but I'm not lying. There's a guy in a military outfit. And they're all... Everybody's inside now. He's patrolling. I'm so confused. But anyways, back to my... <laughs> previous... Thoughts. Oh, he's smoking a dart. Come on, man. You can't fight the enemy with bad lungs. We need you to... Stay off the nicotine. Only dirt bags like me can do that. Thank you for your service, though, man. That'd be rough, though, running drills. I think once you're out of basic training, though, you don't really have to do much real... Like, do you have to... Anybody in the Canadian Army, can you tell me? Like, do you have strict workout routines once you're in? Like, is it a date? Is that a thing, or no? I don't know. I'm not sure how often our soldiers go go places like and join in with like helping Americans do stuff. I don't know much about that world, but I know that uh, the people who do it more brave than I am. I wouldn't want to be going into combat. But I just don't want to fight with anybody either. I'm a lover. Uh, I'm not I'm not into conflict like that. Guns are pretty cool though, I gotta say. I've been watching some gun content on the internet. Guns are sexy man, like what they can do to people not that chill as a form of defense if somebody invades your home pretty fucking cool but just based on the, the, the mechanics and the design of guns I gotta tell you there's something attractive about it like they're very 
were very interesting to like understand the mechanics of and the aesthetic. They're pretty cool. Not when they take lives, okay? I get it. All right, stack up the last of these chips. We're gonna pop into this other half. We're gonna try to get a pickle, a pickle amalgam bite coming up next. So once again, there you see the almost foamy, foamy chicken nature of this chicken. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit freaking me out now. So I do wanna try this side with the amalgam bite. I'll go sub sub first, then add the pickle. Hmm. Hmm. It's all right. didn't work as well as I had thought it would in my noggin. All right, I gotta say this. I'm gonna have to throw in the towel on eating this because to be honest, The chicken's tripping me out. I'm not into it. I'm totally hungry enough to eat more. But you know, when something palatically, texturally, and in your mind starts to like freak you out as you eat it and you're like eh, no 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 not for me that's this right now i just can't get with that level of processed on the meat if it was real natural chicken chunks i'd be smashing all day so maybe i'll try to make one of these at home or what, even one better, what Ben Dean did one video, is cook chicken wings, pull all the meat off the chicken wings, and then put them in a sandwich. Or a sub, or a sub. Yeah, I burped while I said that. Okay, here's what I've learned. This iced tea is amazing. All dressed chips are the Salma Hayek of Canadian chips. The ambiance at Mr. Sub seems superior to that of Subway's. The cleanliness and the veggies and everything looked more pristine and proper. Fake chicken meat is scary. I don't know much about the guys in the army. And sometimes People play weird ball games in a vacant parking lot of an active hotel. All today's lessons. And this girl currently, she's a toe bomber. I used to play soccer like competitively. We all know that you don't want to be a toe bomber. And she's a toe bomber. She's toe bombing the ball. You have no control that way. But she did receive nice just now but now she's still wanting to, okay. Anyways, the other things I've learned this video, um, interesting one to say, uh, none, nonetheless, least. And I totally didn't even finish what I was gonna say earlier, but I'll save that for another video. Regarding Salma Hayek and just, you know, living a life where you're just that attractive, it's like cheat codes, like, you just win already or something in a sense but anyways save that to the next one for this one we're gonna wrap it there learned a lot and learned that i don't like this 
no, it's I wouldn't don't buy it don't don't it I got duped I got played I got roped and you know I tried something and it didn't work out so you know that's life okay till the next one eat good live well stay true <laughs> oh yeah also mr. Sheldon are the best pickles known to mankind <laughs>